here we are at a place called Valladolid at the Adio Terminal. Just arrived. Uh, today's adventure is going to be for three nights. I'm staying at a uh, little place here in Valladolid. The reason I'm staying for three nights is because of the um, spring um, solstice, the uh, equinox, sorry. Uh, equal day, equal night. And that happens twice a year. And uh, when you go to Chichen Itza, you can see the shadow on the temple of the snake slithering down from the top down to the head. And that is on March the 21st. So I thought I'd go on March the 20th. Didn't work out. It was cloudy that day. So I decided to go on 21st on the day of, because you can see the snake a couple days before and a couple days after. But I wanted to go on the day of, I guess. Uh, I got there early. There was maybe a few people there, half a dozen people. By the time, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 3.30, when the snake appears, uh, there was over 4,000 people there. And you can see from later videos on, in the Chichen Itza uh, videos, the amount of people that were there. But for today and for the next three nights, here we are at Valladolid, a little town about 15, 20 minutes away. The reason I came here for the three nights is because it's a shorter trip from here to Chichen Itza than it is from Cancun to Chichen Itza, which is a three-hour drive one way. So it's a six-hour drive just from Cancun back and forth. So Valladolid is like a 15-minute there, 15-minute back. I had a great time. So come on along. First of all, we'll take at a place called Valladolid, guys. Come on along. Let's go for something to eat. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Is the audio station. But to get to Chechen Itza, you take a colectivo, which is like a, a van that takes, they can take 14 people. So when they're full, when they're booked full, then they take off to Chichen Itza. So we'll find out what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. I'm going to go get something to eat right now. Let's just go for a walk, guys, and have a look at what we've got here. This is Valladolid. Quaint little town. My goodness, beautiful little place. Thinking away down that way to city center. What will take you for a long for a walk? So we are on Calle 42 and 29, and we're on 40, walking down 42 right now. We're just crossing, crossing number 33 there, and we'll head down a little farther. Hold up. No. And like I showed you, the place where I'm staying is actually pretty good. I'll have to make sure I remember the guy's name. And he's quite a nice guy. So, I don't know how far. At the lights, just where the bus went by there, I think I have to turn right there. And then a block or two and we are at the Adio and then another block farther down we get to the collectivos that go to Chichen Itza also and I think well was last year the year before I was watching a 
YouTube video and they paid 50 pesos to get there. Like 50 pesos is next to nothing. So, 50 pesos is like three bucks. So that's pretty good. So we'll head down a little farther here. And I brought my camera, my, my still camera along. My Canon camera. I guess I should take a couple of photos when we're down here. The buildings are look very cool. Now, I'm not quite too sure where the audio is. There's a audio bus down there. That must be where the audio bus station is, bus terminal. So I'll see if I can head down that way. There's an Adio Buster. Just heading out of town. We are at the Adio station or terminal. I keep calling it a station, it's a terminal. Adio terminal. And I'm going to have a look and see what streets we're on. We're on 46. So turn to the left, two blocks, and then all the way down to 29. That's about 400. Uh, 400 meters? I don't know. It's about five or six blocks down 44. front of the Adio and we gotta head down that way. Next taxi Let's head down this way. This is where the Collectivo is down this way. Should have been videoing the guy at the uh, Collectivo. <clears throat> it's 40 pesos to go to Chichen Itza, which is 15, 20 minutes away, uh, with a Collectivo, which is very, very, very cheap. Cochita. I'm supposed to pick up a, going down to a restaurant here, he says, ask for a Cochita. Cochita. I have to remember that. Cochita. I have to say it over and over. It's this place over here. It looks like you can buy all kinds of things out here. It's like a little flea market. Well, maybe big flea market. Cochita. No. Could be able to eat in here somewhere, no? He said an open place. I thought he meant like a restaurant, but maybe not a restaurant. <clears throat> a lot of places are like open air. <clears throat> but I don't see a restaurant in here. So we're gonna have to figure out where where are we going? Bring me down just a little bit farther. Cochita. That's what I need to get. He said it was an open place. This is open. Right across from the church. Maybe a little farther, and then we're going to take a walk around inside this flea market place. Wow. I 
think this might be it. You know English a little bit? No, no English? I'm looking for a fo food that's called cochita. Cochinita? Cochinita. Ah, yeah, ah, yes. Cochinita. Okay, the correct pronunciation is cochinita. I don't know what it is. We'll order one anyways. What the heck? But this is the restaurant that he says is open. Look at this place. It's an open ceiling. And uh, she's getting a place ready for me. We'll have a cochinita and uh, a drink. Wow, amazing. She speaks a little English, which is nice. Okay. And here's my meal. Cochinita. I don't know what it is. I didn't even ask the waiter, the waiter what it is. Sure tasted good, though. Weird how they served it, but tasty. Cochinita. And we're going to take a walk across the street. Mucho gracias, my friend. Al contrario, un gusto, caballero. <laughs> okay. Little bit of a flea market or what the heck is what the heck this is here. Let's have a look, see, it's right at the church. There's a whole bunch of little places. Must be a flea market. And it's like 5.30 in the afternoon, so it's gonna be uh, dark soon. these little places where you can purchase uh, souvenirs, dream catchers, like a lot of Mayan, different Mayan things you can find. Oh my goodness. No way of flying a drone here. This is for sure. More Mayan stuff here, like here's a Mayan calendar. There's one with a little bug in it. Look at that, Mayan masks. Wow, amazing. You can buy uh, different foods here. Holy smokes. Now it's too bad in the States. I'd like to have one of them corn on the top. <laughs> I wonder what that tastes like. I haven't tried it yet. More Mayan masks and, and uh, Mayan memorabilia, the Chichen Itza temple, all kinds of little trinkets. Here we have different kinds of stones, all kinds of goodies here. Gotta take a couple pictures of the church before it gets too dark. Well, it looks like everybody wants to get a corn on the cob. 
so it's a long line. Here we can find some leather goods, belts, shoes, little shoes. Wallets, if you need a wallet. Long lineups to get things here. Oh, banana. Banana, banana. Look at the lineup here to get this, my goodness. But we're getting down to the, to the church where we can take a big um, a picture of the big church. My goodness. Wow. What an old piece of uh, architecture there. Wow. Buildings. Wow. Let's head to the outside and take a picture of the church here. They're selling stuff on the outside of this plaza, little plaza area here. So yeah, now there happens to be a big bus park right in front of the church. Can't even take a picture of it, of the church. I have to go around to this front here. Looks like you can go inside. We might do that. The plaza. I think this is called uh, the city center. Okay. Let's take a couple of pictures here. And here at this place, they don't have the corn on the cob, which I wanted, but they have corn in a cup. Same thing, just no cob. This is strange. I've never had this before. You can see him putting the corn in there and some other ingredients. I don't know what they are. The only other thing I knew what it was was the uh, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise and corn. And then other kinds of little spices you put in there. Pretty tasty. <laughs> Corn in the cup, guys. Maybe I should find a seat to sit down somewhere. Alright guys, thanks for coming along on the first day in Valladolid, Mexico. We're getting ready to go to Chichen Itza on the 21st of March to see the equinox, the snake. Thanks for coming out. Stay tuned for the next one.